just, uh, it's tough on a loss, but can you just your thoughts on finally getting the record out of the way? Yeah, um, uh, yeah, I mean, any loss is painful, and that one was pretty ugly, honestly, and yeah, the record doesn't make that one hurt any less, but I mean, just kind of about it, I just am so thankful to God for giving me the ability to do something like this. Coach Williams for giving me the opportunity, um, you know, everybody that's helped me since my freshman year and been there for me and just giving me confidence, you know, um, and then just Rice for giving me the opportunity to come and play for a school like this and just be the best basketball player that I can for the school. Do you think you were pressing to get it out of the way, kind of? Um, I, I can... I can see that. Um, I, I've been pretty good at kind of shutting all the record chasing stuff out of my head, but as it's gotten closer, you know, people would come up and start talking to me about it and all this stuff because I had been avoiding like media stuff about it, but people kept saying stuff to me about it, and so it became kind of harder for me to avoid thinking about it, and I am glad that it's out of the way. Uh, I, it's one of those things where it's really hard. You try not to think about it and just really focus on the game, but. Um, so like I, I did play a little bit uptight tonight and uh, I think from here on out I'll just play a little bit more freely, not really thinking about it. Talk about the game. Uh, well, what it comes down to is we have not had a very good week of practice and we played exactly how we've been practicing where in general it was kind of just blah and we would show sparks of fire or intensity and then it would kind of die down and just get back to kind of lackadaisical and really nonchalant and in conference that any team that shows lackadaisical at any point in the game is going to lose and that's what happened tonight. So now that the record's behind you and the, the game's over, you can think about it in like a positive way. I mean, I mean what, what's it like at a historic place like this that's uh, over 100 years old, you know, this record's stood for 30 years, to be able to accomplish uh, something like, th like this? Um, well, because of the loss, <laughs> it's kind of a little bit more difficult to enjoy it. Um, but I, I didn't know about the, it being 30 years. Like I said, I've kind of been avoiding all the details and media and information about it. But, you know, I, I just feel so blessed to have the, to have, got, have the physical ability to do something like that and to have gotten the opportunity to just come to a school like this that has, um, that has had basketball for such a long time, you know, to have such an old record. Um, uh, I think it's one of those things that I'm going to appreciate more down the road, you know, and even once the season's over, <laughs> that'll definitely help. But, yeah, uh, it, I, I know it's cool. I, I know it's cool, basically. Was that a goal? You, was, I mean, was it one of your goals you set when you came into a place like this, for a program like this? Um, I wouldn't say my... Um, I didn't really know about like the records and things like that. I just remember my freshman year, Courtney Taylor, I don't know if you guys remember her um, from U of H. Uh, I remember I heard that she had set the record, I think, for 60 double-doubles her senior year maybe. And when we played U of H, I think she got player of the year that year. And I just remember thinking that I wanted to break her record specifically. Um, and so that's kind of been just like a driving factor for me those past four years. Yes.